Jen and DJ here with the Chief Peak, and today we're going to be doing a dumbbell biceps and tricep workout. So for this workout, we're going to be doing eight total exercises, and we're changing things up a little bit, and we're going to do one exercise at a time. So we are going to do three sets of each of the exercises, and uh, our working time is 40 seconds, our break time is 20 seconds, and then in between the different exercises, we'll then take a 40 second extended break. If you like this video, hit that like button. If you want to see more, subscribe to our channel. And if you're looking for a dumbbell workout routine, check out our store at shop.achievepeak.com. Now let's get to work. All right, we got about 30 seconds until we get started. If you have a fitness tracking watch, be sure to start your workout now. And our first exercise we're going into is drag curls. So let's grab our dumbbells. So for drag curls, what we're going to do is we're going to have our palms facing out the whole time. And then we're literally going to drag the dumbbell up our body, pushing our elbows backwards. And at the last bit up here, we're going to try to get a nice little curl at the end. Go back down and then repeat that. Here we go. we got a couple seconds left. There we go. So palms facing out. You come up, get that squeeze. Come back down. Get the squeeze. Here we go. Make sure not to strain your neck. You can definitely look down if you want, but try not to force your head down just to get the weight up. A good controlled movements here. There we go. Get that squeeze. How long? <laughs> <laughs> already tired. Yeah, you already burning? There we go. Don't worry, we get to keep doing this one too. Giving you that look. Of you said you wanted to burn out. I do love arms. Let's get one more. There we go. You know, we've got a 20 second break and we are going back into drag curls. So going on set two, it's going to get fun with triceps because I feel like your, uh, your triceps burn out a lot faster than biceps. Yes. Here we go. Let's get ready. Back into drag curls. Oh yeah. This is going to be fun. Remember to get that little squeeze. If it gets too tough, you could also just do maybe one at a time. If you can't drop weight, if you have multiple dumbbells, then you could certainly just drop weight. If you do drop weight, try to do it in between sets or do it really, really fast. There we go, good controlled movements. This workout is gonna be all about embracing the burn. That's what we're doing. Let's get one more. Ah, here we go. All right, we got a break, and then we're going back into uh, drag curls for a third set. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. It's going to be fun. I don't want to drop weight. <laughs> it's burning. Here we go. Let's get ready for drag curls again. Set three. Here we go. Drag them up. Get that little curl. Drag them up. Get that little curl. Getting that pump in the arms. There we go. Commanding those arms to grow. Say, like, grow. <laughs> <laughs> you will grow, bicep. Come on. Let's go. Remember, push the elbows back. Get that little curl at the top. Squeeze. Try to get that max contraction right there at the top. There we go. Let's get one more. There we go. All right, we got a 40 second break and then we're going into tricep kickbacks. So with tricep kickbacks, make sure that uh, you're not going too heavy, really focus on form. So I'm probably gonna end up doing a little drop set action here. Try to use it first and then uh, go on from there. So uh, tricep oh. kickbacks, we got a break. You're already ready? Oh, it's ready. <laughs> I feel like, uh, come on, dude. Yeah. So arms up by your side, upper arms, and then from here, nice straight back, bending at the hips and knees, and then we're going to kick the dumbbells back like that. Here we go. Let's get ready. There we go. Make sure to keep your back nice and straight. So we don't want to be way down here like this with our back bent. We also don't want to have our arms down here and then coming up like this. We want to keep a nice strict form. And if we have to drop weight, that's fine. I do one at a time, for it? Yeah. 
I got some other little weights over there we can grab real quick. No! After this one. Oh, push it. You could also, as you are extending, you could kind of rotate your palms uh, either down or up. There we go. Kind of hit, hit the tricep heads maybe a little different. You want the fives just in case? Okay. Just in case. Okay. There you go. All right, we're going back in tricep kickbacks. Make sure your form is nice and solid here. Let's go. There we go. Nice straight back. Keeping the upper arms by the body. Pushing back, getting that squeeze. Come on. Let's go. Squeeze. Woo. Come on. Squeeze. Let's go. Come on, push it out. Let's go. Burn it up. Let's go. Last one. There we go. On fire. Even got a little uh, lat activation going on the yeah. back, trying to hold them up. Going into our third set. I'm definitely going to do a little drop set. Felt my forearm starting to go to poo poo. <laughs> All right, here we go. Here we go. So if you want to again, try to rotate your palm. So you can go palm up to the sky, or you can go palm down to the ground. Oh man, palms up to the sky. Really feel it on the inside. Remember to keep your back nice and straight. Again, don't let your arms come down here and then help you. We don't want to gain any momentum. We want to make sure we're really working the triceps. Let's go. Let's go. Come on, let's get two more. There's one. Let's get one more. Ah. Woo. All right, we got a 40 second break and then we're going into alternating close curls. Oh, that's starting to uh, break the sweat now. So for uh, alternating close curls, we're gonna grab our dumbbells and then we're gonna do one at a time. We're gonna kind of cross our body, bring it up and then squeeze. That's what we're gonna be doing just like that. Still got 15 seconds left on this break. Jen's ready. You do the no break. No break warrior, huh? Right now until I'm burning. <laughs> we got a couple seconds left. All right, now let's grab them since you put them down. Here we go. We're one at a time. As you come up, get that squeeze. When you're up here, try to get your pinky just a little bit above your thumb. That's called supination. And that really helps completely flex that bicep. So if you just kind of come up and do more of a hammer style, you notice your biceps a little longer. And then as you begin to rotate, the bicep gets more contracted and more dense, a little smaller, so it's getting that roundness to it. There we go. Keeping the elbows nice and close to the body. You shouldn't be going like this. There we go. 20 seconds, going back in. Let me actually uh, grab my, my 30 somethings over here. Yeah. Grab the heavier ones for these. <laughs> not heavy. Here we go. Alternating. Oh, yeah. Good controlled movements. Let's go. Come on. There we go. Maybe we get that pinky a little higher than the thumb at the top of the movement. There we go. Come on. Squeeze. Squeeze. We're gonna go across our body. There we go. Come on. Last one. There we go. Got one more set of that. It's not that bad. Alternating is a little, <laughs> a little too heavy still. Yeah, I need just a little <laughs> bit more on these. You need like some two and a half? Yeah. One, one and a quarter. Here we go. Let's get ready. Here we go. Woo. 
third set of alternating close curls. So make sure, as you can see, it's coming across the body, but still staying nice and close to the body. There we go. Make sure you get that squeeze at the top. Squeeze. There we go. Squeeze. Imagine curl holds on this one. Let's do it. Woo. Let's go. Come on. Let's get two more. One. Last one. Two. Woo. There we go. All right. Going into uh, what we got? Overhead tricep extensions on this one. What are you doing? One. Oh, just one? Yeah. Oh, that'd be a good one. You just do one of these. Mm -hmm. Maybe help keep my, uh, my elbows a little closer. So when you're doing the overhead tricep extension, try to keep your elbows in, not out like that. That's a big one. I know uh, mobility is probably a big factor, but that's the idea. We're trying to keep our elbows nice and close to each other here. Here we go. Oh, it's heavy. Let's get ready. All right. So if you have like non-adjustable dumbbells, unlike us, you could actually turn the dumbbell more vertical and then just grab one of the ends at the handles and uh, do it that way. But uh, our dumbbells, we kind of run the risk of one of the sides coming off. So we're not doing that while it's over our head. There we go. Remember, try to keep the elbows nice and in. Probably. Look at Jen for that, not me. <laughs> Here we go. Come on. Let's get one more. Uh, there we go. I think I'm actually going to do uh, doubles. That's too heavy. There you go. I thought that would be enough, but it's actually not heavy enough. This one just... There we go. Alright, let's get ready. So if you have doubles, you can kind of sit them up on your shoulders like this and then raise from there. Just make sure you're not dropping your elbows down here and coming up because that's a shoulder press. So we want to stay elbows nice and high and then extending at the elbows. Coming up, getting that full extension, flexing those triceps. Uh, come back down. Let's go. Also, if you need, you can kind of uh, drop into like a little partial squat and help explode up if it starts to get too heavy like that a little help let's get one more there we go Whew. yeah so if they're maybe a little too heavy and you can't drop down you can kind of get a little bit of momentum with your legs and help just get those things moving to help you get them up here we go let's get ready here we go. Uh, let's go. Uh, push it. Uh, woo, catching fire now, huh? Uh, remember, don't let the elbows drop like this. Keep them nice and high. Uh, keep those elbows in as much as possible. Let's go. We got like four more reps. Two more. Last one. Woo! There we go. All right, we got a 40 second break and then we're going into hammer curls. So for hammer curls, we're going to do both at the same time. And what we're going to do is we're going to actually have our palms facing each other the entire time. We're not going to get any wrist movement on them. So we got 20 seconds here. Do my triceps look bigger already? Heck yeah. Do I look pumped? We can see them. <laughs> you need a <the> mirror? Huh? <laughs> my reflection. <laughs> All right, here we go. Hammer curls. Here we go. Palms stay facing each other. You can do alternating if you want. <laughs> we won't judge you. We might not be able to judge you by the end of this. Come on. So palms facing each other the entire time. It may help to get like a slight lean forward 
might take a little bit of tension off those shoulders, the front of the shoulders. I know I feel whenever I stand straight up, I feel it a lot in my front delt, so I kind of lean forward just a little bit. And then get that squeeze. Get that squeeze at the top. Squeeze. There we go. Come on. There we go. 20 seconds. I'm thirsty. I already had so much exercise today. <laughs> Golf run, workout. Active audience. Mm -hmm. Engaged. Here we go. Let's push it. Let's go. Remember to get that squeeze at the top. Focus on the biceps. Let's go. We're not cheating them either. We're not coming back like this and tossing them up or letting our elbows go way back like that and then bringing them. Upper arms should stay relatively vertical and then extending and contracting at the elbows. Let's get one more. Hi, buddy. Hey, Bubba. Celebrity appearance. Hey. You gonna do kid curls? Yeah. <laughs> Alright, let's get ready. We got five seconds for our last set. He's like, alright, I guess. Here we go. Let's go. Good controlled movements. Make sure you're getting that squeeze. Let's go. Squeeze. Come on. Let's go. Push it. Come on. 15 seconds. Let's go. Let's push it. We got three more. Squeeze. Don't be alternating on us. Last one. There we go. 40 second break. We're going into Skull Crusher. So our next one, we're going to be lying down the entire time. You can use one dumbbell or two. So I'll probably uh, do, do this 30 over here, I think, or 30 something, whatever it might be. Here we go. All right, so we're going to lay on our back. Dumbbell's going to be up above our head. <laughs> and then arms are going to be at vertical. And then we're just extending down at the elbows, coming back up. Here we go. Let's get ready. There we go. So if you want to put a little bit more tension on the triceps, from here is vertical. Just bring them back towards your head a little bit and then go from there. So your, your upper arms are more towards your head than vertical. And that's going to keep constant tension on the triceps. Here we go. Bring it down. You tap the ground. Come back up. There we go. Let's go. Oh. Push it out. Let's get one more. There we go. Whew. 20 seconds, and then we're going back into a set two. Hey, Bubba. Probably woke up because it was warm in there. Yeah. See, right. we got a whole family except Xander. Let's get ready. Set two. There we go. Remember, your arms should never go down here. They should never pass vertical. Come up, squeeze the triceps. Again, try to keep those elbows in. You don't want them flaring out too much. Let's go. Come on. Push it out halfway. Let's go. Come on. Last one. Get that squeeze. There we go. Woo. Feeling it. Triceps are on fire. Can you just do tricep extensions with him? Psych. <laughs> oh, we got like five more seconds on this break. Going into set three of skull crushers. Here we go. 
We're gonna extend, squeeze the triceps. Here we go. Squeeze the triceps. Try to keep those elbows in, don't let them flare. Especially when it gets tough. Ah. Come on, push it out. Let's go. Get that squeeze. Bring it down, tap it on the ground. Go back up. Let's go. We're like three more. One. Woo. Keep the elbows in. Two. Last one. There we go. Woo. Brutal. All right, there we go. We got a 40 second break and then we're going into concentration curls. So for concentration curls, we will switch at the 20 second mark on each set. Um, and we'll be able to use this one for concentration curls. I might, we'll see. So for concentration curls, we're gonna brace ourselves on our knee right here and then we're just gonna let our arm hang like this and then from here, we're gonna do a curl, just letting it hang. There we go. Just like that. I relax it. Yeah. Yeah, so Jen has hers on her knee. That kind of forces your arm from going back. Kind of takes a little bit more of the shoulder out of it. But if you want, you can just let your arm hang. Focus on getting that squeeze. Here we go, let's switch. So the biggest thing is if you're just letting it hang like I am, make sure you're not pulling the arm forward. The upper arm should stay vertical. Here we go. Let's go. Let's go. Come on. Get that squeeze. I'm going up. That's too light. I like. I keep yeah, pulling this thing out. Easier. I just need to keep it over here, huh? I look like my knee is easier. Yeah, oh yeah, you could easily drop down to one knee and do it like that. For sure. You can do that too. Do that. Here we go. Whichever is easier. It's probably easier on your back this way too. Okay. Here we go. So just like that, let's go, actually I don't know, I feel like I get a better squeeze like this, that's me though, <laughs> priceless, alright after this one we're switching, let's switch it up real quick, get the squeeze, get the squeeze, come on, here we go, let's go. Focus on the bicep, come on. Push it. Let's go. Here we go. 20 seconds, and then we are got our uh, third set. Hi. Moving right along. Let's get ready. Here we go. Focus on that bicep. Again on this one, you could have your pinky above the thumb as you come up. Get that supination, help get that maximum contraction. Let's go. Come on. Push it out. This last one will switch. There we go. Oh, all kinds of interference over here. Come on. Push it out. Let's go. Uh, come on, push it. Get that squeeze. Come on, last one. Uh, here we go. All right, now I don't need this one. All right, we got a 40 second break and then we're moving into either Cobra push-ups or a uh, close grip push-up. So for Cobra push-ups, what we're gonna do, is we're gonna get in push-up position. Our hands are gonna be close by our side and then we're going to push up but our hips are actually going to stay on the ground and our elbows should stay by our sides <clears throat> if you're doing just normal close grip push-ups your hips are going to come off the ground then let's grab our dumbbells we're going to again the arms are going to stay by the side and then from here we're going to drop down to a push-up <laughs> there we go <sighs> Uh, let's go. Here, come get on daddy's back. Ben. Oh, okay. <laughs> he loves his mama. Tired, so I just woke up uh, from a nap. So I'm on the floor. Uh, oh, 
on. Remember to keep your arms and elbows nice and close to the body. Let's go, 10 more. Seconds, that is. Let's get one more. Here we go, now I probably can do Cobra push-ups. Had to pre-exhaust first. Yeah. I know. Just relax. You got a little, here. little out of resistance. I know it. I can feel it. <laughs> here we go. So. Let's get ready. Alright. There we go. Remember, arms nice and close to the body. Using the triceps to push. Hands nice and close. Your hands should be like just up under your chest. Let's go. Come on. Push it out. 15 seconds. Let's go. Oh, daddy, buddy. I'm tired. Stay with mom. There we go. One more. One more. Last one. Uh, woo! There we go. Alright, we got uh, 20 seconds. 15 seconds left on this break. You're heavy, little man. My inflexible hips make uh, make this way harder at the top of every, every movement. Let's get ready. Uh, here we go. Uh, here we go. Remember, elbows nice and close. Pushing out, extending. With the triceps. Let's go. Come on. He's pushing down too. <laughs> it's because he ain't bending. <laughs> Come on. Push it out. We got five more reps. One. There we go. Come on. Two. Let's go. Three. We got two more. Four, last one. Let's get one more. Ah. Whew. That was a burner. Ah, there we go. We are done. Alright. Good job, buddy. Good job, Bubba. Good job. Good job. Woo. Good job, little man. High five. Okay. <laughs> he's, out, he's out of it. Alright, if you like this workout, Smash that like button! Boom! If you want to see more, subscribe to the channel. And if you're looking for the dumbbell workout routine, check out our store at shop.cheapeep.com. See you guys. Cash, say Cheap Peep. Yeah!